Now from your exclusive home for minor league baseball, MLB The Show is on the air. Here it's the little guys on the big stage between the International League All-Stars and the All-Stars from the Pacific Coast League. And now we'll look at the starting lineup for the visitors in this one. Steve, what's the key to a road victory for them? This is a lineup that features so many young kids on this team, and generally you know you're going to have to live with their mistakes, but what you do is you ride that youth and enthusiasm to each victory. And with a quick breather here, let's take a look at the PCL All-Stars on defense. It's brought to us by Majestic. Eric? Well, guys, one of the most exciting things we're going to have an opportunity to see in this one, the throwing arm of that catcher. He absolutely has a cannon. I mean, I wouldn't be surprised if you ever saw him on the mound someday. You get an opportunity to watch him in this one. Larry Lemon strides forward, and we are set for baseball here this evening. Lemon. Underway this evening as the first pitch is taken for strike one as we get started right on time at 7.05 p.m. First pitch, 7.05. Softly hit to the left side. And a base hit. So the leadoff man is aboard to open up the ball game. Well, that curveball is going to be an important pitch for him to locate going forward. This one's not terrible, but it is over the plate, and it gets turned into a leadoff single. Into the box now, Glenn Spoon, and a cut fastball, but this bounces near the plate for a ball. And you figure now this would be a spot where that man might try to take second base. And it wouldn't be a bad idea to hold the ball a little longer out there on the mound. Really bury your times to the plate. You can't be predictable out there or he'll take advantage. And there he goes towards second. It's too high and he's in there at second with a stolen base. And this is all about a table setter at the top of the lineup doing his job perfectly. Gets on base to start the ball game. Now he's into second on the stolen base and they're off to a fast start here early on. No one out with a runner at second. Hit the target, but this is low, two and one. Now after the stolen base, any thought of a bunt here to get him to third? This early, I don't really see the need. I mean, then you're saying, we just want to play for one. Yeah, I think later on in a tight ball game, maybe you might see a bunt, or if you're in the bottom of the lineup. But here, I agree with EK. Just let him hack. All even now, two and two. He's set. Here's the 2-2. Two -two. Chop foul at the plate, and the count holds it two and two. Set to deal on two and two. Tried to get him with the cutter, but it's a full count three and two. And these long at bats give you a good sense of what a guy's featuring here in the first inning. Full count here. Here comes the pitch. Drilled to the right side. And that's through into right field for a base hit. Around third and being waved on home. And they're not going to get him as he's in there to score. That's a good job right there. It goes down, hits the ball hard on the ground, right through the hole. You know, at first, I, I was a little surprised they'd try and send the runner from second with nobody out, but turns out to be the right call. Stepping in, Pedro Velasquez, as he'll get his first opportunity in this one. Here comes the first pitch. Behind on that one, now behind in the count, 0-1. 
A runner at first with no outs here. In front of the changeup, and he can't keep it fair. Two strikes on him now. Looking to put him away. Here's the 0-2. Boy, good cutting action to that pitch as that's the first out of the inning. Time now to give you a look at the batting order for the visiting squad. What's this lineup got to do tonight to get a W on the road, Steve? You got to be swinging at good pitches. Avoid wasting at bats by going out of the strike zone on this guy. Bobby Casilla steps in with one in, one out, and one on here in the inning. Yeah, it's been a pretty good inning here so far, so we'll see if they can scratch another run across right here. Ready to deliver. Here's the first pitch. Took a little off, and it's in for a called strike one. about it here but he lays off the breaking ball inside it's even at one he's running towards second pitches a cold strike the throw low throw and he can't handle the short hop so they'll slap an error on the catcher there and you can tell he's not happy back there Did a good job to shorten up and protect the plate, and he'll have another shot at it here. The one and two pitch. A little bouncer. But that one rolls foul. Runner at second here with one man out. Look out. That one almost got away from him. Two and two now. But one thing he's shown so far, he's not afraid to work inside. Yeah, with that base open right now, he shouldn't have to be afraid. If you do hit him, big deal. Get the next guy. He's ready with the 2-2 pitch. And the slider gets him swinging, two gone. Now that we have a chance, let's take a look at the PCL All-Stars on defense. It's brought to us by Majestic. Any thoughts, Eric? Well, guys, this defense really revolves around the catcher. Very good back there, blocks a lot of the balls, guides that pitching staff. Really the most important guy on this defense. Rafael Jimenez, the hitter now, with a chance to pick up that runner from second with two away. And this could prove to be a huge at-bat in this game because you don't want to let these type of scoring opportunities slip away early. Grounded to the right. Cleary is up with it, and he'll step on the bag himself, and the inning is over. So it's one run on two base hits, one error, and a runner left on. We'll move on to the bottom half of inning number one. International League stars on top, one to nothing. With a moment now, let's have a look at the home team starting lineup. Who do you have your eye on, EK? Well, I think you better look out for that cleanup hitter. He doesn't let the pressure of the big moment get to him. He knows how to stay within himself and come through in the clutch. Willie Ozuna, the right-handed native of the Dominican Republic, will be the starter. What's your tank on him, E.K.? Well, Maddie, he's a rookie on the mound. Doesn't have a lot of experience at this level, but he's getting better and better. We'll see how he does in this one. And with that, let's check out the International League starters on D. It's brought to us by Majestic. Eric, what do we need to know? Well, Maddie, out in that corner outfield spot, 
a very reliable left fielder. Not somebody that's going to make the great plays, but every routine ball, it's as good as gold. Fernando Chassin comes to the plate to lead things Leading off here in the, the bottom half of the first. Second baseman, Fernando Chassin. And he catches the inside corner for a called strike. Nothing in one. to center field. Lemon is there. Makes the play one away. And with that, here's a glance at the starting lineup for the home squad. Who stands out to you, E.K.? Well, guys, everybody should be looking out for that guy in the number three spot. He works hard at his craft, and he really knows what works for him at the plate. Into the box now, Greg Marcus. He'll get to take his first cuts here. First delivery to him on the way. To short. And he's safe at first as he beats this one out by about a half a step. And if this is almost any other guy in baseball, he's going to be out. But he just gets down that line so fast and he winds up beating this one out. Sammy Vaccaro takes his first shot now with a man at first following the one-out single. Well, this is kind of the way you draw it up. Have at least one guy on base for the middle of your order. We'll see if they can drive him in and get that early run. Fly ball out to right field. Spoon is there. Two down. And they've got the runner hung up between first and second. And they will apply the tag between first and second. It's a double play, and just like that, the side is retired. On now to the top half of inning number two. The International League Stars lead it one to nothing. Josh Moore makes his way to the plate. He'll get us started here in the top of the second. Now he gets on top of one here and chops it foul right at home plate. That's taken. Now it's 0-2. Some action out in the bullpen. Couple of right-handers starting to loosen up. And a change up here, but that's taken low in the dirt for a ball. Late making contact on that swing, and we'll do it again on one and two. Swing and a miss on the slider, and that's out number one. Yeah, and there are some times where you characterize a pitch as a Got sweeping slider, but this one does not fall into that category. I mean, this is a nasty little break at the end. Tough to do anything with that. In now, Joe Gross. As he takes a cold strike on the black, it's 0-1. Bases are empty, one man out. Now a swing and a ball popped high in the air over toward foul ground. And he'll put this one away in foul territory for the second out. 
Batting eight. Well, that'll be a frustrating at bat for him. I mean, he's got to be thinking he let one get away there because you know that's a pitch he should have been able to handle. Standing in now, Alberto Fernandez. As he goes after the first pitch and lines one out toward right center. That gets down, and the inning continues. Around first, heading for second now. And he'll make it in there with a two-out double. Batting ninth, the shortstop, Jackie Jolly. Jackie Jolly will get an opportunity here in a run-scoring spot now following the two-out double. And this is really where you earn your money. Runner on second, two outs. Let's see what he can do here. In there for strike one, 0 oh and 1. Skied in the air to straightaway left. Covington is under it, and the inning is over. Danger averted following the two out double. Back with more of this Midsummer Classic right after this. Leading off the inning, Scott Van Slyke. Leading and they'll need him to get out. something going here. Center fielder, Scott Van Slyke. And here's a fastball called for strike one. Hard hit at third. And the throw to first is in time, one gun. With a moment now, let's check out the International League starters on D. It's brought to us by Majestic. EK, what's the word? Well, Maddie, out in that corner outfield spot, a very reliable left fielder. Not somebody that's going to make the great plays, but every routine ball, it's as good as gold. Paul Covington set to hit now for the first time. Into the windup and the pitch. Here's the first pitch slider that just tails out of the zone. It's ball one. And he won't bite at that one either. It's 2-0. Two, two times here they've gone away. Both pretty easy takes. And as a hitter, now I'm thinking it might be time they try to bust something inside. Three and oh now. Uh, I don't like the way they're working here. They're giving him way too much credit. Yeah, if it's an inch or two outside, I think he'll chase it. But not when it's way off the plate. And a fastball misses there, ball four. That probably should have been a strike, but 3-0, and oh, sometimes you don't get that call. He puts a man on here on the four-pitch walk. Stepping in now, Jason Cleary, as he goes after the first pitch and lines one out toward right center. Solid base hit for him, his first of the afternoon. The relay, but he'll be in there with a double. Batting seven. Uh, you make a mistake Austin up to this guy, Barr. he's going to make you pay. This pitch is belt high, and he just jumps all over it and drives it into the alley to put runners on second and third now. Into the box now, Austin Barnes, as he looks at a fastball that's in there for strike one. Pretty cool right there. You know, it's so important in a tough spot to get that first pitch strike over, and he's able to jump ahead. Second and third here, one man out. Belted high and deep into right center. Spoon ranging back. Gone. A fence scraper, but still good for three runs.
So a three-run shot to right center field. And with it, they've left in front now, three to one. When he looks back at this start, this is going to be the one that'll kick himself over. He's got a guy 0-2. Someone without a lot of power, doesn't hit for a high average. Look where this pitch is. It just goes to show you that you can't take anyone for granted out there. you got to bring it on every pitch. If you don't, you'll get hurt. Trent Servone comes on with one away as he looks at a ball. It's 1-0. Three runs already home here. Here's a breaking ball that falls in there for a strike to even things at one and one. No offer on that one. Two balls and a strike. And you kind of get the sense that his head isn't in it right now. You got to put all your concentration into that hitter. You can leave worrying about the pass for your film session tomorrow. Here's a swing and a shot back up the middle. But right at the shortstop for the second out. Oh, they came right the back at him with another heater right Miguel there. He wasn't surprised Rojas. at all. He might have been sitting on that pitch. But he hit it right on the button. It just wound up being right at somebody. In now, Miguel Rojas. As this is popped foul behind the plate, it's strike one. Into the windup, here comes the 0-1. High fly ball out to straightaway center. Lemon is after it. And that retires the side. But the big blow of the inning comes right here. A three-run home run. We've played two, and this is now a 3-1 ball game. Larry Lemon is set to start things out here with his guys down a pair as we begin the third. Yeah, you need a good leadoff at bat here, Matt. It'd be big if they could punch back a little bit in this inning. Third baseman in tight protecting the bunt, the first pitch. And he starts him out with a strike on the outer half. Wind up and the 0 1. Hot shot on the ground is short. And that's through for another base hit. He'll make it two for two in this one. A good job here. Stays inside the ball well, doesn't roll over, and just shoots his ball right back up the middle. Standing in now, Glenn Spoon, as he'll go after the first pitch and bounce one foul for the first strike. Third inning here, three to one our score. Another one fouled off, and he's quickly behind 0 and 2. Now the 0 2 pitch. Another one sent foul. Swing and a miss as he picks up another one. Make it four strikeouts already, and there's your first out. Let's analyze this swing on swing track. This pitch is away, but you'll see him swing inside the ball to try to pull it. you got to take that the other way. Stepping in now, Pedro Velasquez. Now a cutter, but that's in the dirt for a ball.
couple of righties starting to loosen now in the bullpen. That one's going to find the seats. Strike one. Runner at first here, one man out. Runner goes for second. Pitch inside the throw. Not in time. He's in there at second. Well, they've got to figure out some way to shut down this running game. And I think it has to start out there on the mound with maybe the guy holding on to the ball a little bit longer or showing a couple different looks because they've been reading him like a book so far. He's set and the 2 1 pitch. Now a slider misses and that pushes the count to 3 and 1. He took second fairly easily. Any thought of third base here? I don't think so. You've got a good hitter at the plate. A single is probably all he needs. I'd let him try to drive you in. Here it is on 3 and 1. And that misses ball four. So with one out, that'll at least set up the double play possibility here that could get them out of the inning. And it's definitely still early here, but you've got a two-run lead already. Now you go about putting the tying run on base for free. Doesn't seem like his command has been all that sharp so far. Now time is called here as we'll get a trip to the mound. Skipper out of the dugout making the slow trek to the mound. And we're going to see a pitching change as that's going to do it for his starter here tonight. So as he departs, not exactly sure why he's getting the hook as he's given up just one run, but nevertheless, he's on his way to an early shower. Felix Villanueva will come on and try to get out of this mess here as there are two on with only one away. Bobby Casilla is in for the second time here as he looks at one outside. It's 1-0. Oh. One and one. Very weakly on the ground. That goes foul. Two strikes on him now. Still one and two as he fouls it away. Here's the one and two delivery. Straight three called. And now he's one out away from getting out of this. And he's having a rough go of it so far. His second strikeout of the ball game. You can see him gesturing that he thinks that pitch was outside. But, you know, I think once he gets a look at it in the clubhouse, he'll probably change his tune. Rafael Jimenez stands in with two on and two out here in the third. And you know, some guys just get better with runners in scoring position and two outs. This is a big at bat for him right here, even though it's still early. Fastball in there for a called strike. Two men are on with two men out. A little quick on that swing, and he finds himself behind 0 2. Has to be thinking strikeout here. Out in front of that one may have been looking fastball. Good job just to make contact. Now a bluff back to second as he'll just hold on to it.
Looking for the strikeout. Here's the 0-2 pitch. Liner towards second. And the two-out threat will not come to pass as the inning is over. So it's no runs on a hit, no errors, and two men left on. We'll move on to the bottom of inning number three. The PCL Stars lead it 3-1. to one. Irvin Santana is on, and he'll take over on the mound. Number 54, Irvin Santana. Fernando Chassin will try it again. He flied out to start the home first. And he only saw a couple pitches, too. And that's great for the pitcher when you can get an easy leadoff out like that. And here's a ball hit in the air. And that's in there. Base hit. Let's watch this swing and show motion. You're going to see this pitch just tie him up in knots, but somehow he's able to fist it all the way out to right field. Santana will go over to first here. And he has to dive, but he's back in easily. Into the box, Greg Marcus. And the slider's in the dirt as he lays off it for a ball. And this third inning starting out about as poorly as the second inning did. Chopped weakly to the left. And he's safe. He made it safe. High chopper here, and not really much of a chance to get it out anywhere. You can see he tries to force it into second base, but that throw gets there too late. In now, Sammy Vaccaro, as he'll take a called strike here on a borderline pitch at strike one. Now with two on, nobody out, you got to be thinking strikeout double play out there on the mound. But one or the other is what you really need. Santana comes set. Here it is on 0-1. Nope. Off the plate, one ball, one strike. Pickoff move to second, and the runner back in standing. Ready with the 1 1 pitch. And he'll fall behind now to 1 and 2. Looking for the strikeout. Here's the 1 2. And they take him out of the zone here, and he obliges. Not the greatest of swings there for the first out. Oh, and that's a good pitch right there. That's just a hard-breaking slider down and away. And you get the hitter to be enticed by that pitch when it's about halfway there. I was looking like it was going to be a fastball on the outer half. Then it just flat disappears on you, and you're left wondering, what happened? Here's Scott Van Slyke. High in the air and deep to left center field. Lemon racing back. Gone! So a three-run shot to left center, and it's now a six-to-one ball game. This is just a fastball right here, but I'm pretty sure it's not where he wanted it. This has got some elevation to it, and that's one of those where you know it's going to be a home run as soon as you let go of it. Into the box now, Paul Covington. 
Paul Covington. Hit in the air to left field. Gross on the move. He gets there and makes a fine running play for the second out. First baseman, Jason Cleary. Jason Cleary strides in here. He scored a run after doubling to get on base in his first at bat. Well, he got a good pitch to hit up in the zone, and he didn't miss it. He'll be looking for it again right here. In tight here with the first pitch fastball that's 1-0. and It didn't catch the corner there, but you can see he was trying to jam him with the running action on that two-seam fastball. Takes this the other way to right. Spoon is there, and he'll make the catch to retire the side. So they pick up three runs on three hits, including the home run. No errors, and no one left. On now to the top of inning number four. The PCL Stars are out in front, six to one. Leading off the inning, Josh Moore, and they'll need Leading him to get something inning. going here. Well, well you know, they've fallen behind by Josh quite a bit in the early Moore. going here, so they need a good inning here to get him back in the game. In there for strike one. Oh and one. And here's a curveball that just about got away as it misses inside for a ball. Uh, good break to that thing, and it's one and two. And after you move a guy off the plate and you know he's all worked up, that's a perfect time to drop a curveball or a changeup on him. Great pitch call right there. To two balls and two strikes now. Yeah, that's a great pitch on one and two. You start it in the zone, and hopefully you'll get that guy thinking he needs to protect. It turned out to be a good take. All even at two and two. Here it is. Turned on that one and crushed it. Just pulled it a little foul. Swing and a miss on the fastball, and that's the first down. First full inning to work for him here out of the bullpen. But remember, he got the final two outs of the last inning. He starts this inning off right by getting the swinging strikeout. Standing in now, Joe Gross. As he takes a cold strike at the knees, it's 0-1. Credit where credit's due. This guy's done a good job out of the bullpen. No question. He's been able to hold that lead, and these guys really haven't threatened him at all. Oh and one count and the pitch. Now a swing and he pops him up right up the chute. This may be tough behind the plate and he'll stay with it to put it away as they get their man here for the second out. And as a defender these are the kind of pitchers you like to play behind. Someone who pitches to contact keeps the defense involved and he gets an easy pop up right here. Alberto Fernandez walks into the box reached base with a double his first time up Boy, he had a great at bat last time up and he'll look for another pitch he can drive right here in there no balls and a strike well you know you hear it all the time because it's true first pitch strikes are so important it really changes the complexion of the at bat for not only the pitcher but the hitter as well especially when you've got a good hitter up there. Ready with the nothing in one pitch. Curveball there. This one touching 77 miles an hour. Two strikes. And you kind of get the sense that he's not really messing around out there too much. There hasn't been a whole lot of setting guys up here in this inning. 
He's just trying to get himself back into that dugout as fast as he can. Protecting on 0-2, so we'll do it again. Into the windup. Here comes the 0-2 pitch. Swing and a miss, and that ends the inning. Lewis Mettler will come in and pitch now. For the International League, number 25, Lewis Mettler. Now at the plate, Austin Barnes. He went deep in his first at-bat. We'll see what he's got in store for us here. Yeah, he absolutely crushed it earlier. So let's see if he can get into another one in this at-bat. Bottom three in the batting order here as the first pitch misses to the number seven hitter. It's ball one. Fastball misses in the dirt as he tried to get him to chase the low one. This is a good approach when you're facing a pitcher you're not too familiar with. Take a look at a few and see what he's got. Too high. And it's 3 and 0. Oh. He's having a little trouble finding the strike zone here to start off the inning. And it's a long road back from 3 and 0. Oh. Swinging on 3-0, and and he can't keep it fair, so it'll be 3-1 and now. Set to deal. Here's the 3-1. And there's a called strike at the knees as he was hoping for a base on balls there, but it's a full count now, 3-2. and two. And that's about where he'll sit with that fastball, 93-94. That's plenty hard enough to blow it by guys when you need to. Smoked on the ground up the middle. Spin throw. And a spin throw gets him at first. A fine play there for the first down. Good job out there on the mound. Down in the count, 3-0 and to start this inning. He comes back to retire the guy on a ground ball. Trent Servone stands in for the second time. Hit it hard but lined out in his first at bat. Well, he hit it hard. He just kind of got unlucky with the placement. So you can't ask for much more. You just got to try to go up there and barrel it up again. Backhanded. Throw on to first, two gone. Now well, this ball's hit pretty sharply here towards the hole, but then you see he's able to backhand this thing and then use that cannon he's got to fire it across the diamond and get his man. Stepping in now, Miguel Rojas. Yeah, she'll take a tough pitch on the outside part of the plate for strike one. Bases are empty here with two men out. Off speed pitch, and this one runs in and nearly gets him here. Deep to right center field. Lemon racing back. Gone! Solo shot to right center as it's now a six run ball game. Such a good start to the inning. He kept the ball down, got two ground ball outs. You're thinking, hey, he looks like he's in charge out there. But then he makes one mistake to the third guy here, and, and it winds up leaving the yard. The batter, number three. Into the box, Fernando Chassin slapped hard the opposite way. That's in for a base hit, and he's two for three. 
And when you see a guy rip one like this, one pitch after the previous guy left the yard, you know you're dealing with a pitcher whose mind is elsewhere. That'll snap you back to reality, though, pretty quick. Diaz will look for some two out magic here as he'll pinch hit with two gone and a runner at first. Now a throw over to first and the runner back safely. Runners on the move for second. And call that a nice clean base hit as first of the game. So now they'll have runners on the corners with two away. And after three straight two out hits, that's going to earn a visit from the pitching coach. Now there's not a whole lot of guesswork as to what he's saying. It's just, look, all we need is one more good pitch from you to get out of this. I know you've got it in you. Sammy Vaccaro. Gets a shot here with two on and two out here in the fourth. And a big two out at bat right here. You know, it's still early in this game, but you don't want to have to look back on this as a major missed opportunity later on. Armando Alaniz will see what he can do off the bench as he'll bat with runners at the corners and two gone here. Alaniz. Chop foul right at home plate at strike one. Just a bit late and he's fallen behind 0-2. Two quick strikes and now the 0-2. Not in front of that one, but he stays alive and will do it again on 0-2. Runners at the corners, two men out. Dribbled back toward the mound. Throw in time, and the side is retired. But add on one more as the solo shot stretches their lead even further. We're through four, and the lead is stretched to seven to one. Tom Diaz will stick around as he'll take over in right field. Number seven, Tom Diaz. Jackie Jolly will stand in now to lead things off, and he'll do so with the same pitcher still out there. Seems he's earned himself another inning. I think that's a definite vote of confidence, but he's done a nice job since coming in, so you might as well ride that hot hand. And who looks like he got the call there on the pitch inside. It's nothing in one. One and one. That's what you have to do against a big sweeping slider like that. It starts in the zone and it's probably going to finish out of the zone. So that's a good job just to lay off. Foul right at the plate. The count moves now to one and two. In tight with the slider, two and two. A 
little late on the fastball but he's able to spoil that one off and he'll get another chance. Into the windup here comes the 2 2 pitch swing and a miss and he'll start the fifth the same way he ended the fourth with a punch out one away. Pretty good work out of the bullpen as you see there he got called in much Larry. earlier than I'm sure he expected but he's given him a real lift so far. Larry Lemon will stride in he singled in his last plate appearance. First offering on its way. And he gets ahead 0 and 1. That's in there. And he's deep in the hole now 0 and 2. Boy, he is really looking good now. Hitting all of his spots. He set that target away, and the catcher never even moved. The wind up and the 0 2 pitch. Swing and a miss on the changeup, and there are two gone. That's now three straight strikeouts going back to last inning. Whatever he's throwing, it's working up there. Spoon. Glenn Spoon will stand in now. He's singled and struck out in two trips. Now started to go down after it and he couldn't hold back. It's strike one. Two out, nobody on. Curveball there. This one touching 77 miles an hour. Two strikes. Another good job of getting ahead here. He just seems so locked in right now. Chop foul at the plate and he stays alive still 0 and 2. Can't quite get around in time to keep it fair and it remains 0 and 2. Looking to set down the side on strikes here it comes swung on and missed and that's the final out of the inning. Three up. Three down, three strikeouts. Not too shabby. Back with more of our All-Star Game coverage in a moment. Mike Pelfrey will come on now to try and sort this mess out as he'll likely be asked to go at least a few innings here. Mike Pelfrey. Scott Van Slyke steps in, working on a one-for-two game so far. Center fielder. Scott Socrates Brito will come on as a pinch hitter. Number 30, Socrates Brito. Lays off 1-0. Hit in the air out to straightaway left. Gross on the move. And that's the first out of the inning. Now batting. Left fielder, Paul Covington. Paul Covington will stand in. He flew out his last time up. Wing and a miss on the slider, nothing in one. Oh man, what a perfect pitch right there in a perfect spot. And that's exactly how you have to attack a guy like this. He wasn't even close on that pitch. Sinker, and this one's over as well. Nothing in two now. One thing you've got to be aware of as a hitter is he's going to give you a bit of a variety up there. 
He's got five pitches, and he's gonna use all of them. Tried to get him to go after the slider, but it's one and two. A classic strikeout pitch there on 0 and 2. It's one he loves going to, but great recognition there at the plate to lay off. To two balls and two strikes now. And again, they try to take him down in the strike zone just to see if he'll go after that pitch below the knees. But with two strikes, he's been able to lay off that thing now twice in a row. Oh, and a good curveball that time as it's taken for a called strike three, and there are two away. Well, let's get you a shot of this reaction at the plate and show motion. Do you think he agreed with the call? I don't think he did. In now, Jason Cleary. Line to the right side. And that is in there for a two-out base knock. And you check this out. This is on the inside part of the plate, but he still is able to take it to the opposite field. I'll tell you, that is back control at its finest right there. Into the box now, Austin Barnes. Ooh, he saws him off with that one. Foul. Well, chalk another one up for that pitcher. He's used to breaking bats, and he'll give you a little stare down after doing something like that every once in a while. Two out with the man at first. Inside with the sinker, and that'll keep him honest at the plate. The early hit total, about what you'd expect in a score line such as this. He's set. Here comes the 1-1. One, one. That's in there on the outer half. One and two now. Set to deal on a ball and two strikes. Line drive to center field. And that'll get down for a base hit. Yeah, sometimes Third after baseman, two outs, you can let your guard Spencer. down out there Super. on the mound. But all of a sudden, back-to-back -back hits have given him a bit of a wake-up call here. Trent Servone digs in, and we'll see what he can do here with two on and two out here in the fifth. Yeah, a couple of ducks on the pond out there looking to make that trip home. This is a big two-out A-B right here, guys. Thomas Jones will start to loosen up in the on-deck circle as he'll bat with two on and two out here. Thomas Jones. Swing, line, drive. That's going to be trouble. Around third and being waved on home. Tack on another here as the runner scores from second. Well, I got to tell you, I love the way this guy just lets it rip. Ahead in the count, behind in the count. It really doesn't matter to this guy. He's just going to go up, hack it. And he drives in a run right here as he just drills this one for two bases. Standing in now, Miguel Rojas. And he'll watch That's one miss up and away for a ball, 1-0. and oh. That look says it all in the third base dugout. That's not the look of a guy who's going to be sleeping well tonight, is it?
Alan Mock will grab a bat to pinch hit, and he'll do so with a couple of runners in scoring position here, but with two out in the inning. And a strike to even the count, one and one. Yeah, there's a good one right there, right over the top, and just fire that thing in there. Second and third, two away. Fastball called strike, one and two. You know, a lot of times with a sinker baller out there, you're just conditioned to always look for something down. So he can surprise you with that high fastball, maybe four-seam it every once in a while, and when he does, you can forget it. One and two, here it comes. Hit hard to the right. Foul. Ready to deliver the one and two. Drilled on the ground to short. Reined in. Throw to first in plenty of time, and the side is retired. But a run will score in the inning on this RBI double. Five innings complete. It is now eight to one. Socrates Brito will stay in the ball game as he takes over in center. Socrates Brito. Thomas Jones is going to go ahead and stay in the ball game and play third now. Alan Mock will stay in the ball game as a new shortstop. Thomas Rivera will get the call here as he'll start the sixth inning on the mound. Rivera. Stepping up to the plate, Pedro Velasquez. He drew a walk his first time up. Designated hitter, Pedro Velasquez. And that's in there for strike one. And you know, if you're going to challenge a guy up in the zone with a fastball, why not do it on the first pitch? A lot of times he's going to be taken anyway, and you just bought yourself a strike that you can now throw anything off of. And he falls behind 0-2. A swing and a high pop up. Mock is there for it. One down. Now batting. Oh, did he ever hang one there? Bobby I mean, that Garcia. thing is sitting on a tee. He got away with that one big time. Into the box, Bobby Casilla. As with one away, he won't catch up with the fastball, and it's 0 and 1. Here comes the 0-1. Here's a fastball at the knees. Good spot, good pitch, and it's 0-2. Struck him out as his woes continue as that's his third strike out of the game. <laughs> Ouch. <laughs> that's a rough night at the ballpark here. Third strikeout. One thing you can't do, though, you can't go into that dugout hanging your head. You got to think, hey, it's over. I'll get another shot to redeem myself. Whether that's tonight or, or sometime in the future, that's the attitude you have to have. In now, Rafael Jimenez. And this what one's up? not close. It's in the dirt for ball one. And that man right there, he's got to figure out some kind of combination to score some runs for him. They have really been scuffling. Bases are empty here with two men out. Toward the gap in right center. This is going to be a base hit, and he may take that big turn at first. He's around first on his way to second now, and he will stroll in there standing with a two-out double. Now batting, 
Here's another look at this swing and show motion. Check out the hands getting into good position. The hips start to rotate and then whack. That's great extension all the way through the ball. That's the perfect swing right there. Into the box now, Josh Moore, as he lays off a fastball too low for ball one. Runner in scoring position at second with two down. Two and oh. A much better approach here at the plate so far. Well, he's not working from behind in the count like he has his first few at bats. And he doesn't want him to get off to a big lead out there at second so he steps off to look him back. Two and zero oh count here it comes. Chop foul at the plate strike one. Two balls and a strike. Here it is. Nip the corner. Two and two. Two out here and a runner at second. Swing and a miss. Blew the fastball right by him, and the inning is over. Christopher Clemens will come on now to try and sort this mess out as he'll likely be asked to go at least a few innings here. Clemens. Fernando Chassin steps in, got a base hit in his last at bat. Eric Sogard is going to come off the bench as he'll be asked to lead off the bottom of inning number six. Lifted into the air out towards center field. Lemon has a read on it. He's got it one away. He's just trying to get a fastball in there to start the inning. Ball winds up getting hit pretty well, but not well enough to do any damage. It's a one pitch out. Tom Diaz will dig in. He singled his first time around. Into the seats, 0 and 1. Here's the 0 1 pitch. Line hard toward right center, and that finds some outfield grass. It's a base hit. It wasn't just that he was getting fastballs there, he was getting hittable fastballs. This catches a ton of the plate, and he turns it around for a solid single. Standing in now, Armando Alaniz, as the first pitch to him is in there for a called strike one. Not a bad idea to take a look at that one there. Now that you've seen the curveball, you can start to get a better gauge on it. Get a feel for what it looks like coming out of the pitcher's hand. And a good job to lay off the fastball there close, but it's one and one. Runners on first with one down. High and deep to left center field. Gross ranging back. Still ranging back. He tracks it down and makes the play to record the second out. And these guys already have three home runs in the game, and he's making a bid for number four here. And he didn't miss that one by all that much. A 
Into the box, Socrates Brito, as he goes after the first pitch and lines one out to a bright center. Spoon is under it, and he makes the catch for out number three. Back here at Scheib Park in Philadelphia. Seventh inning straight ahead, but first let's take a look at the game summary for the first six innings of baseball. Eric Sogard will stay in the ball game now as he comes on to play second here. Eric Sogard. Joe Gross will stand in now, hoping to get on top of one for a change. He's popped out in successive plate appearances. Well, Matt, so much of hitting is being able to make the necessary adjustments, and he needs to make one here. First pitch coming. Here it is. And the first pitch of the inning here misses down and in for a ball. It's 1-0. Hit down the third baseline. And the throw to first is in time, so the leadoff man is gone here to start inning number seven. The catcher number 33, Alberto Fernandez. Digging in to try it again, Alberto Fernandez, who looked to bounce back after striking out his last time up. Yep, they sent him back in last time, so maybe they have a pretty good idea of how to attack him again right here. First pitch fastball swung on and missed 0 1. This fastball is looking pretty lively right now. And one and one as this one's in on the hands. That trying to go front door with that breaking ball started it a little too far inside, though. Here's the one and one pitch. A good action on the two seamer there, and it's one and two. He might have thought he'd be getting another dose of that curveball because he was way behind that one. Fastball strike three called as he couldn't pull the trigger and there are two away. And this bullpen's picking right up where their starter left off. This has been a real team Jackie effort on the mound Jolly. so far. Jackie Jolly will stand in now. He flew out in his first time around and then was a strikeout victim last time. Lofted in the air out toward right center. Brito moving to his left. And that's the third out. Ladies and gentlemen, it's time for the traditional seventh inning stretch. Danny Flores will come on now in a mop up role as he'll just try and keep this deficit from growing any larger. Flores. Paul Covington will stand in here. 0 for 2 with a run scored so far. Left fielder, Paul Covington. Jeffrey Horner is up off the bench as he'll be asked to get something started in the home half of the seventh. Jeffrey Horner. Pitch swung on and hit in the air. Lemon sprinting after it. He's there and records the first down. Yeah, jumping on the first, first pitch of the inning number there. 12. Gave it a pretty good ride, but Jason in the end, Curry. winds up being a pretty routine first out. Jason Cleary ready for another at-bat now. He's two for three so far. Yeah, and you can bet he'd love to get himself that third hit. Those are the kind of games that puts a little extra pep in your step. Here's the first pitch to him. The fastball here as he'll take a look at ball one, one and oh. And now we'll take a moment here at home plate as he asks for time. One out, nobody on.
Tom Noonan will move into the on-deck circle now to try to get something started here with one gone in the inning. Tom Noonan. That'll be a souvenir, and the count will move to one and one. From the windup, the 1 1 pitch. Fouled off again, and now he's in a 1 and 2 hole. Able to protect the plate with two strikes, and he'll see another one. Bases are empty, one man out. Softly hit out to short. And this is going to find its way into left for a one-out knock. Well, this is not exactly the most convincing swing you're going to see, but this is a results-oriented game. He manages to take the ball the other way and make his way aboard. Austin Barnes will stand in as we'll flash you back to the second inning as you get a look at this key three-run home run. Bobby Wilson will be summoned off the bench here as he'll pinch hit with the runner at first and one gone in the inning. Bobby Wilson. First pitch hacking here and that's the first strike. A look here at the hits per side here in the late going. Runner at first here, one man out. And I believe they'll say he broke the plane as yes he did. It's ruled a strike. And a slider bounces and that gets away. And forget about the double play now as he'll move up to second here on the wild pitch. And with two strikes, this is the risk that you run trying to get a guy to fish for something. No doubt that was the idea, but it's going to wind up costing him. A ball and two strikes. Here's the pitch. On the ground to the left side. And that's through into left field for a base hit. Oh, and he ignores the third base coach and heads for home. He is in time, and he's cut down at the plate as they team up to gun him down. Here's a situation where any run you can get to add on to your lead, it's an important one. But this never really had much of a chance of panning out as they tag him out at the plate easily. In now, Thomas Jones, as he'll look at a fastball too high for ball one. Ready with the 1 0. Just short, hit hard, fielded cleanly, and he'll just step on second for the force, and that'll do it for this half inning. So no runs on two hits, no errors, and a runner left. Eighth inning coming up. The PCL Stars lead it 8 to 1. Your Jeffrey Horner will stay in the now ball game right now and take field. over in left field. Number 37, Jeffrey Horner. Tom Noonan will base. stay in the Number ball game 46. as he'll take over at Tom first base. Noonan. Bobby Wilson will stay in the ball game as he'll likely do the catching from here out. Matt Dendecker is going to be asked to get things going here as he'll lead off the top of the eighth. Dendecker. A 
And they start him out away with a cold strike. And he's had a high strike zone all night, so even if you're on the bench, you got to be aware of that. Here's a fastball that crowds him a bit, and it's one and one. One and two now. Right back inside with a fastball. This time, he got the call. Here he comes on a ball and two strikes. And he struck him out. Time now for our starter comparison. And that tells the story, as you can see. Neither guy able to get past five innings. Carlo Nieto will move into the on-deck circle now to try to get something started here with one gone in the inning. Now started to go down after it, and he couldn't hold back. It's strike one. One out, nobody on. Here's a late swing and a miss, strike two. Real good lateral movement on that two-seam fastball. That pitch is money for him when it's moving like that. So just keep on throwing it. Here comes the nothing and two pitch. Good job to spoil that one away, and he stays alive. Down the third baseline, Jones fields it cleanly, and they will not get him at first as he's able to leg out the throw. And when you're coming off the bench, the rule is get on base any way you can. And the last time I checked, an infield single meets those requirements. It's not pretty, but he'll take it. Pedro Alvarado will be summoned off the bench here as he'll pinch hit with a runner at first and one gone in the inning. Alvarado. Softly hit down to third, likely no shot at two. He's got it, He's and indeed, no look at second. He'll go straight to first and take the sure out. Now Eight to one, our score. As you look at our in-game line Bobby score, this one Garcia. pretty much all over but the shouting. Julio Herrera will look to provide a little two-out thunder off the bench as he'll hit with a runner at second and two away. He slaps that one away, and the count will be nothing and one. Barely able to make contact. Down 0-2 now. Got him swinging, and that will end the inning. Matt Dendecker will stay in the ball game as he takes over in center. Number 21, Matt Dendecker. Carlo Nieto will stick around as he'll take over in right field. Julio Herrera will stay in the ball game now as he comes on to play second here. Stuart Park will come on now in a mop-up role as he'll just try and keep this deficit from growing any larger. Coming to the plate now, Alan Mock. He got on top of one and was a ground-out victim last time. Alan
lays off a pitch in there for the first strike. All ones the count. Here's one that misses high. It's one and one. Scorched to third. A dive and he knocks it down. And no chance at a recovery here as despite a great effort that time, they won't get an out on the play. Second baseman, Eric Sogar. Eric Sogard is at the plate now. Flied out in his first at bat. Lefty against lefty here as this is taken for a ball. One and oh. Hard hit ball to second. And that's through for a hit. Oh, and the decision to try it will backfire there as he's gone on a great throw from right. This is where I think you need to be content to just move up 90 feet on the base hit. You'll see the right fielder coming on quick. He comes up and delivers a seed to third to get his man trying to take the extra base. Stepping in now, Tom Diaz, as he looks at a fastball that misses off the plate for ball one. Ground ball right side. Played on the backhand. There's one on to first, but not in time as he's in there ahead of the throw. Oh, there is so much that can go wrong with this play right here. This will give us a great angle to look at it. Look where he fields this thing. Then as he goes to throw it, stop it right there. He's got no real direct lane to the bag. Now, we've seen guys screw this up all the time. They throw it off the runner's back. They hit someone's helmet. Anything can go wrong. But he's able to avoid that danger here as he gets that force at second base. Into the box now, Armando Alaniz, as he can't catch up on a fastball to letters, and it's strike one. That thing's coming in there hot, 96 miles an hour. Changes up on him, but that's in the dirt for a ball. Yeah, after that last swing, I would have thought they'd go right back in, but... That's actually not a bad location because I doubt he was looking for something out there. A little bit outside. Two and one. Set to deliver on two and one. He's fallen behind now, three and one. And I'll tell you, this is an inning that you really don't want to continue any further. So this next pitch really needs to be a strike. A runner on first with two away. And the count will be full. Count is full. Here's the pitch. Swing and a ball hit high, but not very far out toward right center. Den Decker is there, and he'll make the catch to retire the side. Ahmad Fields will come on here. Not a safe situation, but he'll try to close it out nonetheless. Seals.
Ray Rivera is going to pinch hit here to lead off the ninth. And with his club already well down, he'll just need to try and get on base here. Ninth inning underway now as the first pitch is taken for a cold strike. Strike two called on the inner half. 0 and 2 now. Oh, you like the way this guy is just going about his business here. He's got a big lead, but he's pitching like it's a tie game here in the ninth. Fought off at the plate and we'll do it again. Ready with the 0 2. Filthy change up that time, but he's able to make contact and he'll get another chance. On its way, the 0 2 pitch. And this one's hit on the ground, but foul. Hit the other way out toward right field. Diaz has a beat on it, looks it into his glove, and there's one gone. First baseman number 25. I want to remind you folks that coming up after the ball game, comprehensive highlights from the contest tonight as we look back on all the action right here on the show. Todd Roberts will move into the on deck circle now to try to get something started here with one gone in the inning. Roberts. Sends that one out of play for strike one. Bases are empty, one man out. Might have thought about it here, but he lays off the breaking ball inside. It's even at one. Even at a ball and a strike, here's the pitch. And he throws a cutter right by him to take control one and two. He's going to need to crank that swing up another notch if he's going to catch up to those. Ready on one and two. And oh, a big rip at the curveball, but he didn't get it, and he becomes the second casualty of the inning. And sometimes up there you just get completely fooled. I mean, I think he changed his mind about swinging at this pitch about three different times while it was on its way to the plate. I'm going to swing. No, no, no. Uh, I'm going to take it. Oh, well, I better try to at least foul it off. And in the end, he got nothing. Standing in now, Joe Gross. Swing and a ball chop foul right at home plate. This ball's in the air to left field, and this should do it. Turner is there to make the catch, and with that, the ball game is over. Yeah, just an entertaining ball game here all around, and these guys are going to get out of here with a very nice victory.
One more look at the final line score there to see the great pitching performance that led his guys to the victory. And as we wrap things up here, what do you say we name this guy right here as the recipient of our Topps Player of the Game Award? Yeah, he only had one hit, but he definitely made it count. Big home run that turned out to be the decisive blow in the ballgame. So that's a wrap here tonight. Eric Karros, Steve Lyons, Matt Vaskersian, you've been watching MLB The Show. For more, find us on Facebook at MLB The Show. The PCL Stars win it 8-1. to one. Good night, everybody.